what's good today we're going to be coding a network tool in batch now i've actually never ever made this so we're kind of going to be doing this together it's less of a tutorial and more of a just kind of watching me do it but at the same time you learn about it and we kind of learn about it together by the way this video is for educational purposes only we're just going to be learning some simple cmd commands and implementing them into a batch file filtering out the output and outputting different network statistics that could be useful to someone so anyway before we start let's think about exactly what we want but i'm thinking in my mind is that i want this little cmd batch window to the side like if you're playing a game or something or on a call you could have this running and I wanted to show things like information about your network. So like if you're connected or not, uh, your signal strength, your ping and other network information like, you know, received bytes, sent bytes, just network speed, anything, anything useful. That sounds like a cool idea. And you can even put it into like multi tools later on. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So first, we're going to create the file. We're going to right click. We could create a folder for it, but I think we might be fine just putting it like this. I'm just going to call it network dot bat and we're going to edit it with notepad plus plus. So before we start coding, we want to figure out what exactly we're going to do. And I always do that. I just open up command prompts. So we're just going to open up CMD and we're going to take a look at the commands that we're going to be using. So the first one that I was thinking of is net shwlan show interface. I'm going to run this and here we go. So we see the SSID, BSSID, we see the network type, authentication, connection mode, channel, transmit rates, we see the rate, we see the signal, signal strength, we're definitely going to use that. And yeah, so from here, we need to decide what information we want. So if you're following along, you can kind of just choose whatever. For my tool, I want the Wi Fi name, I want the state, actually, no, not the Wi Fi off, oh, the SSID, the state, I could use the network adapter yeah sure why not ssid then adapter then state and then signal and the channel so let me show you how we're going to filter out that info so first we're going to go add echo off and we're going to start a loop because we want it to be updating constantly so the command to filter out an output or to like get a certain value from this whole thing is four and this is where things might get a little complicated but just i'll try my best to explain this by the way, if you want to get good at using batch files, this is critical to learn. You have to know uh, how to do this. So you want to go for dash F and then create quotes. And here we put the tokens and delimiters. But all it is tokens is kind of like an index and a delimiter is what's in between the indexes. So let me give you an example here. So we're going to say tokens is going to be equal to two and the limbs is going to be equal to space. Right, we're just going to leave a space. So this means that let's say we choose BSSID. Uh, our delimiter is going to be this semicolon right here. So semicolon is going to be our delimiter and the second token. So this would be the first token and this would be the second token because we want things on this side. And if we choose the first token, it's going to be the first. Second token is the second and tokens can go you know, on forever and you can change the delimiters and space and you do percent percent and then any letter. Usually I just do a now go in and then brackets and then put now whatever you put in here is going to be the command that we're going to be running. So the command that we're going to be running is net shwlan show interface. But obviously this outputs all of this, right? So what we want to do is run this command and pipe. So let's say we want to start out with the SSID. We go SSID and close the quote enter. So we see two things pop up our SSID and our BSSID. I'm pretty sure our BSSID pops up just because it has SSID here. And um, if we want to get rid of this, which we do because we're not trying to output that, we can create another pipe. And this is where we're going to have to use find string. We go find string dash V and then we put in what we want to ignore. So that's going to be BSSID. We want to make sure that's not there. If we run this, boom, now it only outputs the SSID. So we're going to copy this entire command and paste it in between these quotes. And now the thing about this whole four command is that pipes need to have a carrot behind them so like this and from here we just do do set our variable name so that's going to be ssid is equal to percentage percentage a or whatever you called this thing so let's test this out we're going to echo our ssid i'm going to pause let's run this and here we go bell 157 works nice so from here all we want to do is just copy paste this um 
and just get different values. So we can move this find string right here. And what else did we want? We wanted the description, which is the adapter name. We wanted the state. We want to see if it's connected or not. And we also want to change this right here. So I'm just going to call this adapter. And we also wanted the signal. So we're just going to save this. They're all formatted the exact same way, so we don't have to change the tokens or the delimiters. Another thing that we can do is just add this behind. So SSID equals this. I'm pretty sure they have a space behind them already when we save it, so we don't need this actually. Uh, and here we're just going to go boom, boom, boom. I'm going to say adapter or network interface card so the nerds don't flame me. All right, let's see what this looks like. Boom, here we go. SSID, Bell 157 see our network interface card, we see the state and we see the signal <sighs> looking nice. So now I actually want to loop this. So when it gets to the end of here, um, I wanted to update. So like whether it be the signal or the state or whatever, I want to go to loop. So it uh, just loops it. So let's run this. Oh, okay. So we see it's repeating. That's why we want to clear the screen. So we're going to go above the echo statements and type CLS. So what it's going to do is clear it each time. And the reason that we don't want to clear it before all of these is that all of these commands, they take a while to run, right? Because we're, we're running net SHW land show interface four times, basically. And that takes like a noticeable second, right? And the CLS isn't going to look as good here. I'll, I'll actually just show you. So if we put CLS right after loop, okay, first of all, it's going way too fast. Let's actually add a timeout, you know, timeout dash T1. It's going to wait for one second. Okay, let's look at this. Do you see this? You can like see it blinking. It's it's really obvious. It doesn't look good. So what we're going to do is add the CLS right before the echo statements. So it's going to clear for like one millisecond. It's going to be a lot quicker. So let's look at it. Ooh. Now you, you can still see it blinking, but like barely. This is what you want. It's like a lot smoother. All right. Now let's think about what else we want. It's so, okay. I was actually thinking we could organize this into sections. So this could be like uh network something i don't even know and then we could make another section for whatever we're gonna do next and now let's say we want to output hmm. so i was talking about perceived bytes sent bytes ping ping we, okay here we can go latent not latency yeah, what do i call that speed i don't even know what to call these <laughs> here i'm just gonna call it speed for now and we can change it later so first we want to output the ping and uh, there's many ways to do this. But basically, we're going to be using this exact same thing, um, except a little bit differently. So, for example, if you ping, let's say Google's DNS server, which is 8.8.8, .8 you're going to go. So this is the ping right here for time. OK, over here we see it gives you the average. So that's what we're looking for. We, it gives us minimum, maximum. We just want average. So this is basically your ping. And the more of these requests that it does, uh, the better the ping and see. OK, and we also add packet loss here. Ooh, packet loss is another thing that we need to add. So using the dash and flag, we can actually choose how many of these requests we want to send. So if we do like one, it does one. And that's not as accurate as if we do like if we do like three. So I was thinking we could actually use this ping command as a way to also wait. So right now we're using this timeout and we're just waiting for one second instead of just waiting for one second. We can actually just use this and get more accurate results. Okay, it's a little slower. What if we do like two? Yeah, that's closer. So we can do like two or three. Basically, it depends how accurate you want the ping to be. So I'm just going to stick with this for now. So first, let's look here. So what delimiters, what exactly are we going to use? Okay, first we want to do this and then we want to find average. Okay, so now it only outputs this line. Okay, what delimiters can we use? Oh, we, we're just looking for this. Um, so that could be equals. And which token is that going to be? That's going to be. So this is the first token, second token, third token, fourth token. So it's going to be the fourth token and equals is going to be our delimiter. So tokens equals four and delimiter is going to equals equals. And you can actually put this down. It's not going to give you an error. So in here, let's paste our ping command and we're just going to call this ping. Now let's echo ping cross our fingers and hope that this worked. Oof. Okay. Yes, it works. Look, it literally updates. Oh, wait, we didn't even remove the timeout. That's why it's going so slow. 
Yeah, I'm gonna remove this. And another thing is that here, we see when we run it in the beginning, it's like just a black screen for a little. We could make that a little bit prettier. Here, we can just type in network information, which we are actually, so we're not lying here. Loading network information and it starts. Okay, we see the signal change, the speed change. Okay, I like how this is looking. I also wanna change the title and I wanna add a space before everything to, you know, give it a little bit of padding where it's gonna make it look nicer now. So, network, stats, and also, yeah, add a space before each of these. This looks nice. Also, I wanna resize the window so it's like, oh, yeah, like right here, imagine this. Yeah, this is, this is literally exactly what I was picturing, just like this on the side of your screen. We're gonna add a few more things here. All right, now let me just remember how to do that. Um, here, I'm gonna open a new CMD window. So it's mode, and then you put in the width and the height, but I literally, this part always confused me. I just, okay, okay here we go. So we have, we have 30 and 30. So like, which one is which? Okay, 38. And this looks about right. So that's gonna be 38, 20. If anything, we can tweak it, it doesn't matter. So right after here, we're gonna loading network information. Oh, this is literally better than I expected. This looks sexy as hell, let's go. All right, so now we also want bytes received and bytes sent. And we can get that info with the netstat command. We wanna go netstat dash E, I think. Yes, here we go. So it shows the bytes received bytes and send bytes. The the limiter here is gonna be a space. It's literally just gonna be space. And for the received bytes, it's gonna be the second token. For the sent bytes, it's gonna be the third token. First, we're gonna start with the received ones. That's gonna be, what was it? The second token, second token. The limiter is space. And we're gonna do R bytes for received bytes. I'm just gonna copy this line and then S bytes for sent bytes. And we're gonna put R bytes. Yes, oh my God, yes. So for packet loss, it's pretty similar as the ping. If we like ping this, Google's DNS, we also have a loss right here. Now it's a little bit weird. It kind of gives it in percentages and it's not that accurate unless you like have it running for like a decent amount. Like, I don't know, six or something. Or actually, you know, if we loop it, then I think it might be fine. Yeah, okay, so... It's, it wouldn't be super exact, but I guess we could add it. But honestly, we don't want to ping it twice. That's going to take way too long. So I have another idea. So what we do is that we ping for like a decent amount of time and we save it to a file and then we read that file with a command. And then, yeah, honestly, that, yeah, that's a, that's a good ass idea. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go ping dash n three. We can, let's do n three. We're gonna save this to like some like temp. We're just gonna do we're just gonna do ping.txt. Okay, so now all we have to do, we can keep everything, except we're gonna change this to type, type temp and ping.txt. And the output is gonna be basically the same. And we're gonna do the same for the for the packet loss. So we're gonna search for lost. God damn it, why do I keep closing these windows? It would have to be equals, but then we also have this bullshit. Okay, this is what we could do. We could just use space. So we could just use space as a delimiter and we would need a ton of tokens. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That would be the 10th token. Well, honestly, I, I'll go with that because it has a space around it and we just want the zero. The limiter is gonna be space and it's gonna be packet loss, P loss. And I'm gonna add that right under ping. Packet loss. All right, let's see what this looks like. Let's see if this is gonna work. Like I, I didn't test anything, so let's just see. Oh my God, it does work, let's go. See, we're killing two birds with one stone. So what if I make my connection shitty just to see if I get any packet loss? Actually, ah, I'm doing too much. Whoa. I don't know about you, but this just looks... Oh, we just had a packet loss of one. Okay, I'm going to clip that. I'm going to put that in. There was just a packet loss of one. See, so the packet loss works. Wait, but actually, I'm sending two pings, and the packet loss was one. So we should divide two by one, and then put that into percentage. 
So that would be like a 50% packet loss in that one, in those two packs. Uh, uh, okay, woof, this video is already getting too long and I need to do my part of the dishwasher. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check the link in the description for my private community where I have courses, a Discord server. I literally do VCs. You can hop on call with me. It's fun. We just do stuff. Um, I have exclusive videos. I, all my deleted YouTube videos are up there. The link in the description, you can just check it out. It's, I, I, <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually enjoyed making this. I, I don't remember the last time I had this much fun making a video. I actually had so much fun. We, I literally just made a network statistics thingy. I'm going to keep that. Maybe even put it on my GitHub. But yeah, like, sub, comment, and I will see you next time. Peace.